Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today in this video, I'm gonna go over all of my horse's toys and show you the many different toys that he has. So uh, when I was trying to see what type of toys to get my horse, I thought that was actually something kind of hard to find on the internet. Um, like it's easy to find toys for other animals, but I'm um, just trying to look for horse specific toys or toys recommended for horses was kind of hard. And I think it's because there's not a lot of people that actually um, do buy toys for their horses or keep toys with their horses. Um, but uh, horses actually do love playing with toys as um, Bellfire has definitely proven. So I wanted to show you the toys that I use for him. But before we get started, be sure to subscribe to my channel. You can also follow me over on Instagram and TikTok to see more of my animals. Before we get started, I want to show you a product all of us horse owners need, and that is a fly trap. Fly Fix sent me these fly traps to try out, and they've been great. They work so well. It's a super simple design that is easy to use. Watch me struggle with this very basic fly trap. I thought of refilming it, but it's kind of funny how I have a hard time with something so simple. <laughs> I hate the way those yellow fly traps look. I really like this green netting. It's eco-friendly and chemical free. And you just need to add a little bit of bait into the cup. I'm using a stinky old banana because what smells worse than an old banana? You can use other food waste or even manure or wet cat food. I set up a fly trap by my stables and another one in my backyard. And by the next day, they already had a ton of flies in them really liked this design it worked really well so i will be using this more often to control flies especially since they've been so bad with the rain this is perfect for any outdoor area like your chicken coop barn or just in the backyard it is reusable it does catch larger pests too so even the big horse flies check them out at the link below and do be sure to use my discount code when you purchase okay so to start off with I want to show you his favorite toy. This is uh, Bellfire's favorite toy. So that one is uh, definitely his favorite and it's actually his second one that he's gotten. Um, it is a big giant ball. I think um, it's the Jolly brand, I'm not sure. Um, but I actually got this off the internet and then you just have to pump it when it comes in. And it's his favorite toy. The last one he popped and I think it's because he laid on it, but that's no big deal. I got him another one. Um, it is a blue ball, uh, but this time I got this cover, but I do wish that the cover was tighter. I think it's a little bit loose, but it is supposed to be so that they can actually grab it and toss it around as well, besides just kicking it and rolling it with their feet in their uh, nose. I also got the cover just to try to make it last longer. Um, I thought maybe that would help. So I'll let you know how that goes. Um, but even though he did pop the first one, it's definitely been worth it. Um, he really, really loves it. So this toy um, is his favorite. Oh, and one of the things I actually wanted to add is that when I do try to buy him toys, I try to get certain colors. So horses don't have the color spectrum that we do. Uh, so they see things a little bit differently and the colors that they pick up on the most are gonna be blues, um, yellows, and greens. Uh, so I try not to get like bright red toys since that's not a color that's as bright to them. To us it's really bright, to them it's not. So I really like that the ball's blue and then I picked out the blue cover for it as well. Um, but of course you can't always get the right colors. So at the end of the day, I don't think it matters too much But I did notice that he does play with his blue toys more than the other ones. Okay next. This is also a big favorite This is the jolly ball which he just popped today I was like you couldn't have just waited one day for me to make my video He's had this one since I got him which was actually um, in November I got him in November and I bought this ball for him before he even got home. And so he popped it um, today in two places. Uh, but it definitely shows that he uses this a lot. So I'm gonna buy him a new one. Um, but he can keep playing with this one while it's broken. I just think that a new one's gonna be more fun. But uh, this is really cool because it has a handle so he can actually grab it. And it's always tossed out of his pen. 
So I know he um, does play with it a lot. Next up is something really basic, a cone. So this is um, something you often see um, on the internet. I think I've seen this one more um, often than some of the other ones. And this is a small cone. Um, since he's a yearling, I got him a small one. He might get something bigger next time. But he does like this cone and he plays with it. He tosses it around. I've pulled this out of like his water trough and stuff. So he does also enjoy the cone. And something about the way that it, it flips from side to side, he also likes. He likes to kind of straighten it out and then kick it around and straighten it out again. And then you can also use dog toys as well. So here's an example. Um, this is a really big um, chew toy rope. It's for a large breed and it's perfect for him. And I got him this because he really likes to chew on the lead rope uh, when I take him out or he just likes putting ropes in his mouth. So I got him this and it's not one he uses the most often, but it ends up in different places of his um, corral all the time. So I know he does use it. Now, of course, he does actually get out into this pasture every single day for several hours a day. So he's not just in his corral, but when he is in his corral, I want to make sure that he has plenty of toys and things to um, occupy his mind. And one of the things I really like about uh, providing a horse with toys is that it's going to make them a little bit less spooky because they're used to objects and things um, around them and moving around them. Uh, so it makes him um, not spook at things he sees outside of his pen as easily. So I think there's a lot of benefits for it and uh, it just keeps the horses happy. I'll also show you some toys he has inside of his pen that are kind of tied there. So let's go check those out. So here's a toy <laughs> that he enjoys. Um, this is a dog toy. I think it's a con brand and um, it has balls here and then uh, these little flaps. And he really enjoys this. He plays with it a lot. Uh, this is tied to a shelter and it usually ends up over the roof. Um, this one is one of Bellfire's favorite toys. It's a little rabbit that's a Kong toy for dogs. And it has different types of textures, rope, uh, the ears, have another texture and he absolutely loves this toy uh, it's actually kind of clean right now because it's been raining a lot and I feel like it cleaned up the toy but usually the toy is really dirty you can kind of see there it has brown marks uh, just from him playing with it with his mouth but that's actually one of his favorite toys and it's just tied to the fence and he moves it around Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what toys your horse enjoys. And you can also follow me over on Instagram and TikTok. And I'll see you guys again next time. Bye.